Morning, traders. We're coming to the Asian session with uh, US dollar continuing to uh, its recent decline on in Tuesday session in the US with the dollar index hitting its lowest level since mid-August at around 102.60 before finding some support there at that 61.8 FIB level. Uh, decline was accelerated up to voting member, uh, Fed member Waller, who is seen as a hawk, made some dovish remarks, a bit of a flip-flop on, uh, from, from Waller there, uh, where he said he was increasingly confident the policy is well positioned to slow the economy and get inflation back to 2% and also hinted at uh, rate hikes next year uh, if inflation in the economy continued on its current path. Uh, there's also some comments from Fed member Bowman, who was seen a little bit hawkish, but as she's already considered a hawk, it didn't have a comparable effect on the market. Um, the Japanese yen was the G10 outperformer, benefiting most from that US dollar weakness and a low, and lower US Treasury yields also saw that US 10-year and JGB 10-year yield compress, uh, differential compress some, somewhat further. Uh, dollar yen hitting a low around 147.32 to testing those November lows and that support level there around 147.27. Uh, today, Japanese watchers have got the um, Bank of Japan's Adachi speaking, plus uh, there's a, a raft of Japanese figures out for the rest of the week. Uh, Aussie dollar and Kiwi dollar, they um, perform very well as well, hit three-month highs. Aussie dollar hit 66.65, Kiwi 61.47. Uh, basically on broad US dollar weakness, risk on sentiment also helping uh, both those cyclical currencies. Um, strength in commodity markets, I guess recent hawkish comments from RBA Governor Bullock as well, um, giving the Aussie dollar a bit of a tailwind. So both those currencies come into Wednesday with key economic readings uh, to navigate. Aussie CPI uh, and also an, a RBNZ rate decision are due today. Uh, the RBNZ is expected to hold at 5.5%, so it'll obviously be the statement and forward guidance that will uh, move the markets. Uh, Aussie CPI is expected to moderate slightly year on year down to 52 from 5.6%.